Without proper cooling, a hybrid vehicle's inverter system can fail quickly, bringing that vehicle's electric propulsion to a halt. If you need to replace a hybrid's inverter coolant pump, we've got a few important tips that can keep you from making some common critical errors in what should be a simple job. Our first tip is simple. Before you start, check the VIN to confirm the exact year, make, and model. This is especially important because sometimes the model year and the build year can be different. Tip number two is to refer to the manufacturer's safety and general information before beginning any service procedure. Failure to follow these instructions may result in serious personal injury or damage to the vehicle. The specific make and model will dictate the exact replacement process, but our tip should apply to most hybrids with inverter coolant pumps. The inverter converts DC power to AC and also controls the amount of power reaching the electric motors. The inverter is subject to very high internal temperatures, which, if not controlled, can damage internal components, including the transistors that convert low-voltage DC current from the battery to the higher-voltage AC current that turns the motor. If the cooling system loses efficiency, the inverter will become too hot. This can be caused by old or contaminated fluid or by a failing pump. The driver may notice reduced performance, hesitation, and the drive system may completely cease to function. When this occurs, the hybrid drive system warning lamp will appear and a trouble code will be recorded. Tip number three. If you have to replace the inverter cooling pump, start by draining the cooling system. Many models require removing the entire inverter assembly to gain access to the inverter cooling pump and hoses. Once you have access, disconnect each hose then remove the pump mounting bolts. When the pump is free, disconnect the electrical connector and check that it's in good working condition. Begin installing the new pump by reattaching the coolant hoses, the electrical connector, and tightening the pump mounting bolts to the vehicle. When the pump is securely in place, tighten the hose clamps. Refill the system with coolant and run the vehicle to draw the fluid into the system. After running the vehicle, be sure to bring the fluid up to the manufacturer's recommended level. And for our final tip, don't forget to clear any codes caused by the old inverter cooling pump. Now you're up and running with your new Continental Inverter Cooling Pump. For more service tips from Continental, subscribe to our YouTube channel.